Okay, so what we're going to try and do here is log in to um, Nomis. So first of all, uh, we need to go to um, the Nomis website. That's nomisweb.co.uk, um, and then you'll this is the the home page. Um, go to the sign in. Click on sign in, and that will then take you to the sign in bit there you put in the website um, uh, address um, an email which is admin at plan for calstock parish dot UK no co there it's just UK uh, and the password that I've sent out to everyone and click on sign in um, then the next step is to go to um, data downloads and query data That moves then to uh, um, a list of uh, the data sets by source. Um, and what you can do then is to click on any of these. So, for example, if I wanted to know about um, a population survey, I'd click on there, and that would give me all the headings. We're concerned about the census, so let's go back down there to the census. And they click up onto there then. So, we've got two types of census data key statistics and quick statistics. Let's look at key statistics um, and we want to uh, let's say work out the um, health and provision of unpaid care um, in the parish so we then click on that then the next step is you see you, have, you need to select the, the geography so that's the area the data is going to be collected from so it says this needs to be selected don't pick any of those, go straight to load and save collection selections over here. You click on that and you see uh, that I've already got um, Calstock um, loaded there. So click on that and that tells you what we've got. So that's Calstock as an English parish. We've got the data for Cornwall and the data for England and also the data for the Southwest region as well. Um, the next step is to define uh, the variables that you want. So on health and care, if we click over there, um, we could just have some basic figures or we can select the individual column. So let's select everything on that one. And you've got a choice on this side now as to whether it's um, just the value or the percent as well, or of course, just the percent if you want. Let's pick both. Um, that gives you the opportunity to uh, do some further divisions into major conurbations and rural towns, rural villages and so on. I think it's probably best to leave that for our purposes. Um, you can then save the query by going to this one here where you click on save um, and save the query there. It'll ask you for a name. Um, so let's call it um, health care um, save it um, and then we can go across to download data and you see that it will probably take a, a little bit of a, a time to actually generate the data the slower your internet the slower the longer this will take you then got a choice of downloading it either as an Excel document or viewing it in your web browser um, obviously for long term storage it's better if we download it um, uh, as a, an Excel document and then save it under um, perhaps that heading but with uh, the parish name featuring in it somewhere. Let's just have a look at it as uh, data in the web, web browser so we click there and you see you've then got all of the data. Um, these columns for Calstock, this one for Cornwall, England and the South West. Um, so we're then able to make comparisons as to uh, the situation in the patch that we're looking at, um, Cornwall and nationally, generally. And you see some uh, interesting differences start to emerge when you look at those sorts of figures. Um, and then once you've done that, basically you can go back to uh, the original place and pick it up across the top here, navigate, navigate to query. Um, and you can start a new query. 
so you might then want to pick another one of these and then go through that same process again and basically that's all there is to it